praise the lord um please be seated god bless you let me just um i just feel led in my spirit to say one or two things and then we'll get to the word um now i must caution us i have a responsibility to do this i'm a spiritual man and i stand over you as a father and i must make sure that god is helping us and we are growing please listen carefully make sure that you do not allow the good things that god is doing in this season whether in the areas of marriage finance and all of that to begin to mount unnecessary pressure are we together listen very carefully i must talk to you we are spiritual people and spiritual people are men and women who are governed by the word i know that many of you since last week you've been hearing people announcing alerts and alerts some people have gotten alerts close to millions and some person may just sit and say lord but i attended the fast what is wrong with me and the devil can continue that conversation you see that now we have just announced people who are getting married and especially for our sisters now sisters i love you very much because of your composition please listen i hope everyone is hearing because of your composition the bible says her desire shall be to her husband so when you begin to announce things like this chances are that especially for our dear sisters we can get into that pressure when will mine come when will i stand and if we are not careful the devil can cash in on that desperation and frustrate us is that true some of us because of the pressure you will quickly go and say yes to someone that was positioned by uh, may not necessarily even be a christian just because you feel time is going and all of that one of the worst things that can happen to a believer and is proof of carnality is when you begin to compare yourselves unnecessarily the bible says and they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise when it has to do with the things of god you must be discerning are we blessed because there are many many others marriages that are coming you will hear other testimonies rejoice with them that rejoice and it is true we are humans let me tell you if it is god you too will stand here but you're not going to get it done through desperation facebook whatsapp connections um what do we call it all these antichrist systems it matters how you get connected to marriage this is something you're going to do for a lifetime and don't allow that pressure sisters are we blessed are we listening especially when you leave this environment and go to other fellow sisters like you who are not godly chances are that they will sit down a 30 minutes discussion will water down your whole prayer and fasting someone will come up and tell you a horrific story another person will tell you something else and please those of us who are parents here and those following online let me encourage us i don't believe that any godly parent should put pressure on their children to get married just as a way of massaging their ego we're spiritual people the bible says he makes all things beautiful in his own time so please you're a parent here you're a guardian let's be careful sometimes we don't pressure people directly especially for our dear sisters there are messages there are body languages that we communicate that put pressure on these people you know i counsel people and i talk to people all the time and sometimes i try to discern what is the pressure behind you know this gentleman he can't sit down he has become a hustler anything he hears that is producing money he wants to be part of it and the reason is because at the back of it there's someone somewhere mounting pressure on the gentleman at your age i already had a house and the guy feels guilty for being 30 and not having a house whereas the pathway he's taking is the pathway that will lead him to that blessing god gives people speed but he does not rush people there is a difference between speed and rush are we together i i just i just felt like introducing this to 
just keep our hearts together because you see our emotional levels are very different there are people just for this good news you see now may not sleep for days and that's not supposed to be an insult it is because we live in a society that has become so emotional everything around you is speaking to your emotions this is where being spiritual comes a spiritual man is not somebody who prays in tongues a spiritual man is one who has gained stability through the understanding of who God is and the integrity of his word that's spirituality are we together now yes so it's very important we we'll continue to rejoice with our people and support them but please please do not make a costly decision especially towards the area of finance and marriage two important areas that no one at all who loves God I will not know anybody I love and allow to make some of these careless decisions by God's grace we are here to help um, all our brothers sisters make the wisest decision in the different areas of our lives and where our experiences are limited we are very open to recommend you to people who we believe their wisdom is worthy of reception so please make sure that you don't make a mess of your life just because of societal pressure here and there you may be having a trouser of 20 naira have it with honor whilst you are trusting God to lift you is that true yes and um, please parents have contributed and I, I say this with all respect and honor in hurting and destroying the life of young people they push us into seasons that were not directed by God there are many people crying and languishing in marriage right now there are many people whose whole lives have you know been reduced to shambles because of this mistake so it's very important remember that marriage will have children my father said something years ago that was very instructive to me he said it is parents that make mistakes children don't make mistakes so if you know that children are going to come forth from your union you should be honest enough to consider them in your decisions when you are saying yes to an ungodly man you are not only being wicked you are being selfish because children are going to come from that union and you are now submitting not just to a man you are submitting to a platform i'm not teaching on relationship tonight i'm just trying to make sure that that we are in a position where god can help us tonight are we together for me truly sometimes i get very surprised gentlemen do it but our sisters too sometimes people come to church they hear the word of the lord and you you labor do you know let me tell you this as a man of god and as a leader your greatest joy is to see people use the truths that you are teaching and their lives are changing so sometimes when i see the kind of especially marital decisions that sisters take I'm, I'm tempted to ask is it that they don't understand what we are teaching or is it that they don't attend the meetings are we together and some of you don't like me as you are looking at me like this because you have trained your mind into believing that I might be antagonistic to your agenda only an unwise person someone that has been at the focal point of your spiritual development will god now use that person to destroy you is, is that not deception already so many people run away is after they get married and go away and it backfires then you see them ringing your phone and disturbing you and saying all kinds of things just the art of humility to listen can save you i always think about the children you can do whatever you want with your life provided you have a covenant with god that you won't have children you destroy yourself and reap the consequences of your carelessness but when you are bringing a child i happen to be involved in the life of so many children and sometimes i look at them and i'm very sad because most children are paying the price for the selfish decisions some of us seated here looking at me now 
you have lived your life paying the price of someone's carelessness don't reproduce that same result are we together so please and please in as much as we celebrate people and all these people you see i meet with them and i talk with them i pray with them so don't just forward any wedding card when we don't know you we don't know how god helped your decision we are not irresponsible people don't just say i'm a member of koinonia usually people hide under departments like prayer band they say i'm a member of prayer band and just because they are looking for financial support no we don't do that marriage is not occult it's something to be proud of this is the wonderful lady i'm getting married to and they talk to you is proud is 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 very proud of any gentleman to believe you can outgrow guidance it's foolishness are we together is god helping us say my children will glorify god through my life say it one more time my children will glorify god through my life what i suffered my children will not suffer the price i paid my children will not pay it that's a good husband wife father mother hallelujah be happily married not just married be happily married be happily married being married is a choice being happily married is also another choice being uncomfortably married is also a choice the ball is in your court make a decision make a decision let your joy be preserved don't admire your single days after you get married and wish you were not married that's not a good thing especially i'm speaking for those of us who are men of god and those who are going to be called into the ministry let me tell you something there are not many things that can give a man of god joy because he's involved in pouring himself to people so the few things that are around your life that can give you joy insist that they are there prosperity can give you joy a good wife or good husband can give you joy well behaved children can give you joy a healthy church with listening members can give you joy are we together the things that give men by the grace of god the privilege that god has given me to rise in influence and a number of others who have gone before me that we've had the opportunity to talk let me tell you greatness is a very lonely realm if no one has told you learn it the life of great people is they are busy but they are not many things they don't have a system very few systems give back to them somebody did something one day here i think i've shared it and the person said apostle i want to hug you and i did like that they said no put down your hands let me hug you and suddenly it occurred to me that in years it's me that has always been hugging even when you say let's hug i'm the one who reaches out something as little as that so if if your marriage the only chance you have to be happy you ruin it because of pressure and because of saying look this is the only guy that is available and you destroy yourself you will live an angry life when dr billy graham now of blessed memory was launching his library his wife had gone to be with the lord and he stood there they were the presidents of different different um you know tenures together of the united states they were all there to cheer him up and he got up and you you thought he would talk about the whole library thing and he just made one statement he said as i'm standing here i miss my wife so terribly i said wow that's an evangelist there are many people who cannot say that forget these lies people do in the public many people are not happy they are not happy and they had a chance to be happy they rejected it but as many as received him meaning you can reject him praise god i'm talking about something else but is it all right if we take two minutes to just pray for our families our lives is that okay please pray just you can sit down just pray 
truly speaking pray i believe in family i am an advocate of family there is no responsible man of god no responsible man of god who wants to raise believers whose families are in shambles what prayer are you praying when your family is in shambles pray pray don't look at me some of you are looking around this is a serious business pray please lord rescue me from this 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 siege of darkness this programming of lucifer that he wants to use to destroy the destiny of a generation pray lord i speak your married pray for your home pray for your own family too lord there will be no repetition the pain i saw growing up will not repeat itself i disallow it from being featured in my own life pray don't say i'm not in a relationship yet don't say i'm not married yet or don't say i'm already married it's too late pray i insist to be responsible i insist to provide for my family hallelujah please be seated i think if, if this is all we do tonight it was worth it somebody may be asking apostle what do i do while i wait for my miracle behave well behave well it's amazing how many people will miss the will of god because of bad behavior not demons i'm saying this especially with a bias to our sisters am i boring you is it all right if i just encourage us behave well there is unexpected behavior that opens you up many people don't behave well and we learned this from our society we don't behave well we are rude dishonor everybody we have been taught this this demonic thing that we call class is a spirit that is eating up the destinies of people most ladies call commitment and seriousness being cheap the moment you are required to put your heart in what you are doing they say no i can't be that cheap the society has sold a lie to us and we destroy our homes most brothers especially some of us that god has given a little influence this our pride is what will never allow us move forward we think we are big men we want everything to happen in life at our own terms no sir no sir marriage is not by force but if you must engage in it please think of these children please think of these children forget about yourself you can ruin your life and find something else to do but don't bring any child on earth we already have enough children on earth who are wasting away don't add to it behave yourself well behave yourself well what do i do while i'm waiting brother be serious be responsible about your life is that true be responsible coordinate your life together where am i going don't carry somebody's daughter and an ad in your life and frustrates the poor girl's life in the name of marriage now ladies should not marry men just because of a brighter future i've said it that's investment however however a brother cannot carry a lady that is not going anywhere and keep wasting her time you see many of our dear women all around suffering in the hands of visionless men it's not that they forgot where they are going they never knew where they were going from beginning that's why we counsel people that's why we talk to people that's why many people are not happy because they think that when you counsel them especially where you have to tell them no this thing mm -mm, it's not working out they get angry because in their minds you are an enemy of progress not knowing that that's you delivering them from decades of pain there are some mistakes that even if corrected can never you can never have it the way it was again are we together there are things it is best to get right once and for all thank you jesus let's get to the word 
Koinonia is quiet. Were you blessed? That's the work of a good shepherd. To talk to you and love you too much. To have, you'll be surprised that this little word now that I said is somebody's deliverance. Someone was about to make an unwise decision. And Jesus just came. Jesus, the way, showed you the way out of every nonsense. Please destroy any relationship that is going nowhere and you, you can know that this relationship is not going anywhere. Get out of it immediately. A man that is beating you before marriage, there is nothing to pray about. Let him leave. If there is a problem, we have miracle service, we finish seven days prayer and fasting. If he loved God enough, he should be here. Is that true? You see the signs everywhere. There are few people who get into wrong marriages not knowing. It's a lie. There are signs everywhere. Most people, most people, God showed them the signs, but they refused. They say, no, no, no. Oh, God, I'm, you know that I'm not young. I'm not a fool. Don't think this person talking to you doesn't know what he's saying. Oh, apostle, age is not on my side. I want to have my children first. Are you the first to have children? Children are a heritage one isaac one isaac one isaac there are people with 12 children they died fast because of those children do you want a child or you want a blessing blessed be the name of the lord